Today, we're gonna to talk about how long a hat should last. If you just dropped a ton of money on a hat and you're wondering how long is it gonna be before I have to replace it, hopefully we'll answer that question today. If you're new to the channel, please watch this video. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, maybe even like this video and you'll see more videos like this, all different varieties of topics that we talk about here at Startup Cowboy. So felt hats, totally, in my opinion, you, you get what you pay for. Now, there's very few times where you overpay for a felt. Um, and we have another video coming out where we talk about what's good price, you know, what's a good price for a felt. But I would say for a felt, it totally depends on what you're going to do with it. All the hats for sure. But felts, you know, they're built to withstand, you know, the extremes of weather, whether it's moisture, wind, sun, things like that. So the higher quality you buy, chances are it's going to handle that better. That's, you know, a tighter felt, a nicer quality. You know, it's going to not take in moisture as much. It's, it's just structurally going to be better. And so for, for a felt, I would say you can take, you know, those 7X and below, and you know you're going to get at least five years out of that, even if you're working in it. Now, will it look, you know, like, you know, a rag when you're done? Maybe, but if you take good care of it, you'll at least get five years. So if you just drop some serious coin on one, $300, divide that by five years, is $60 a year okay for you to spend on a hat? I'd say so. Hopefully my math was good. Um, but if you go up further than that, you know, like a 10X, is a 10X gonna perform better than a seven? Depends on the maker. American Hat Company, Resist All, they make good hats. There's tons of manufacturers. Um, but it starts to kind of narrow, in my opinion. So is a 10X going to last, or is a 20X, excuse me, going to last twice as long as a 10? Not necessarily. So I would say when you're budgeting for one, think about it. Once you kind of get into that 10 to 20X range, they're going to last the same, whether it's a high fashion hat, you don't wear it besides Sunday or nice occasions, or you're wearing it outside every day. So if you're thinking about, you know, what am I going to do with this hat? That honestly is going to tell you how long it's going to last. The harder you work in it, the less it's going to last. So if you're in that mid range of quality, it's really going to last forever. I'm talking 20 plus years. So definitely put that uh, in your back pocket as a good investment. So next we're going to talk about straws. There's kind of two varieties of straws. In my opinion, you have kind of your budget everyday working hat, and then you have your high fashion. The difference in those mostly is just the build, of course. Um, to me, a working hat, if you're truly working in it, it's going to last you max two years. They sometimes work longer, but the odds of these getting blown off and absolute frisbeeing across the pasture, super high. That's going to break down parts of this. Um, it'll also, this lacquer only lasts for so long. So unlike the felt, there's really, you know, not necessarily a coating. There's shellac on there for sure. But this has kind of a, a degradable or deteriorating um, quality to it, which is totally fine. So for those budget ones, Minimum of two years. I've seen people stretch them for 10 plus. I usually get really good look and use out of one for at least two years. At that four to five, you're starting to look at it and it kind of looks more like a paper plate than it does a hat. So keep that in mind. When you go up higher in quality, I personally don't think you see a whole lot more longevity in a working hat because once again, that lacquer is going to degrade, um, whether that's sun or moisture on it. So I would say don't probably don't work in a nice straw hat. Um, if you're just, you know, wearing them occasionally, I think they're both going to last about the same amount of time. So I think if you're looking at a budget standpoint, um, don't break the bank on a straw unless there's one you just can't help but buy. So then you go into a palm leaf. Now palm leaf has just kind of this um, fine wine quality to it, where the longer you have one, as long as you're not, you know, running through wildfires and they just get nicer and nicer and nicer. Now, Basically, in my opinion, what kind of happens is, you know, those fibers start to, you know, settle in and tighten up and the moisture and all that stuff that's gone over time settles in there and they just kind of stay stable. Maybe stable is the best word for them. Um, if it's a working hat, I do think you're, you've got at least, you know, the same amount of time as a straw, probably longer. So at least four years plus of a decent hat. Now, if you live somewhere where there's a lot of moisture, especially these two straw varieties, aren't going to handle that. They're not made to handle that. Um, they'll do it for a while, but not forever. And so in a working situation, you at least four years on one of these hats. Now, if you're never wearing it and maybe you get one of those Atwood hats that are a little finer, um, that thing's going to last dang near as long as a straw. So I think if you're going to go bang for buck, maybe, maybe these palm leaves are your best, are your best bang for buck when it comes to money. Honestly, all of these hats, if you take care of them well, realize that they're not forever. Um, you, you really are going to have something that 
will last almost forever. So that's just kind of my explanation of how long each of these hats should last you. Hopefully that'll give you a good opinion when you go to buy one, knowing that you're making the right choice. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.